Hello and welcome to this SEH screencast. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Fujitsu ScanSnap S1300 USB scanner, just like a network scanner, with the help of the MyUTN130 scanner server. Before we start with the configuration and operation of the MyUTN130, let me show you which devices I'm going to use in this screencast and how they're connected to each other. Let's begin with the MyUTN130 scanner server. I've connected it to the power supply included in the box. The Fujitsu scanner is connected to power. Is also attached to the MyUTM130 via USB cable. Then there is my PC with Windows 7 and finally there's an Ethernet switch. Both my PC and the MyUTN130 are connected to the switch. Preparing for this screencast I have installed two things on my PC. First there is the UTN manager. This lets me find UTN devices on the network and it allows me to connect to the USB devices attached to it. Second there's the Fujitsu ScanSnap manager which installs all the device drivers required to run the scanner. We'll also need to use a web browser to configure the MyUTM130. Well, let's take a look at each of the configuration steps required to operate the scanner over the network. First, I start the UTN Manager. As I've not yet added any devices to it, the UTN Manager asks right after being started whether I want to look for new devices. By clicking on Yes, I open the Search Assistant. Here, my UTM-130 is listed and we can see the ScanSnap S1300 attached to it. I choose the my UTM-130 by clicking on the IP address and then clicking on Add. My UTM-130 is then added to my selection list. My UTM-130 is now available in my selection list and we can already see its status as available. We can now assign an IP address to it by right-clicking on the IP address and then clicking on Configure. Now the MyUTN Control Center, the configuration interface of our MyUTN 130, opens in the web browser. On the configuration pages you'll always find two fields. The upper field of the page contains information about the current status of the configuration, and in the lower field this is where I can change the configuration. For example, assigning a fixed IP address to the MyUTN 130. In this case we can see up here that the IP address will be automatically obtained via DHCP. This is exactly what we need for this screencast, so we won't be changing it. All that's left is we have to connect the scanner to our computer via the network, and that's really easy. It takes just one click on Activate, and the scanner is connected to my PC just as if it were locally connected using USB. This is immediately confirmed by the ScanSnap Manager. In order to test this, I put a page into the scanner, and then I press the Scan button. You can see that the ScanSnap Manager starts the scan right away, and that the two-page PDF is opened in Adobe Reader. Naturally, you can define the characteristics of the scan button in detail here in the ScanSnap Manager. However, this is not the topic of this screencast because that all works just as if the scanner were locally attached to your computer. Once we finish scanning, we should remember to deactivate the scanner so that it will be available for other users. As you've seen, it's unbelievably easy to make a USB scanner network enabled with the MyUTN130 scanner server. When you click Activate, the scanner is immediately connected to your system and ready to go. The UTN Manager can actually do more than that. Using the Action Wizard, you can, for example, save yourself the trouble of activating and deactivating the scanner by making it automatic. That way it's always connected when you need it, and when you finish, it's automatically disconnected, making it available to other users. You can find out more about this function in detail in our screencast featuring the UTN Manager Action Wizard. Also, take a look around our YouTube channel, as we regularly post new videos demonstrating the functions of our products. If you should have any questions or suggestions regarding the topic of this screencast, just email us or give us a call. And I hope to see you for our next screencast.